Mac Pro 6.1 CPU upgrade. Guys, is it worth it to upgrade the Mac Pro trash can uh, from 2013, uh, respectively 2019, I think was the last date when this was sold for a six year period. Is it worth to upgrade them with a 12 core CPU? I would really say we quickly jump on the desktop into my system. And as you can see here, I have Mac uh, 3.5 gigahertz, six core CPU which is not the base model. And I would have to say, I'm already pretty happy with that six core CPU. But as you might remember, when these Mac Pros, the Mac Pro trash can was launched, you had a variety of upgrade options. Of course, if you have the four core, I would definitely recommend you to do an upgrade. But the 12 core was depending on which entry level model you got. Uh, in my case would have been a $3,000 upgrade. Um, considering if you bump up the memory to 46 gigabytes and put a terabyte NVMe, Apple was charging a whopping 9K for this. So the question, could we maybe replicate that model for a much more affordable price? Um, and uh, as you can see, instead of spending 9K, um, I mean, these CPUs, they are on the 22 nanometer process compared to the Mac Pro cheese grater before that initially launched with the 4.1 with 45 nanometers. And then at the latest when it was discontinued was already at 32 nanometers. Now with the trash can, we had 22 nanometers and I believe the iMac Pro has 14. So it gets gradually better and better. The 12 core, if you want to install that, um, very affordable. I saw it in Europe for 80, about 80 bucks. Also, you have to have the Torx. Uh, that's unfortunately a thing with Apple. They don't have normal screwdrivers. You have to have this specialized uh, stuff. I can also put them below. Either you buy them individually or you buy a set. It, it's really up to you. Taking this apart is really a cumbersome task. You can uh, take the metal, open the latch, take the cover off. And then on the top as well, on the bottom, you will find the TR10, uh, 5TR10 that you have, re have to remove. Then the MVME and uh, I think the fan as well as the interconnect board. Uh, th that's all TR8 and uh, the power supply cover has TR5. Guys, without stretching this out too long or showing you unnecessary parts, if you have not lived under a rock, you probably know I fix it and I would really recommend you to go to the website. Um, maybe you can look that step by step on your phone. I find this a little bit more convenient. What instead? jump to the benchmark graph because that shows other Macs that I've tested as well as the six core that I have right now. And I must really say, I'm very happy with the six core actually, that has a score of 870, around 870. And guys, if I browse the web, I mean, or do some tasks, the CPU is hardly really stressed very much. So I'm having a hard time as it is to utilizing this CPU to its full potential because it's just, even though it's so old, it's already pre pretty powerful. Uh, I can only imagine back in the day when that was new, uh, how much performance that system had. It's kind of amazing actually. Uh, even the D500s, they hold up very well in my system compared to an RX 580. So really think about whether you want to go to that hassle because I have to say, if I have a five minute video and I export that uh, and it takes around five minutes, maybe six minutes, whatever, uh, do I really want to go through the hassle and take this Mac Pro apart uh, just to cut my export time in half? Um, of course, these scores are not exact. Um, if you do that upgrade, you will definitely reduce your export times, especially when you're using ProRes. But I have to say, if you're using ProRes, the six core is already exporting it super fast. I mean, which I showed you in my video with the video rendering benchmarks. Uh, since I'm using this machine for desktop use and work in Final Cut. So my conclusion really is, on the one hand, I would really love to do the upgrade because I'm seeing, wow, this super monster expensive CPU for like hundred bucks with the upgrade costs. On the flip side, it's like, oh, I know from, my previous work, for example, working on the iMac, you really want to be careful when you're working on these Macs. You don't want to break anything. And uh, man, the system works already pretty well. So why to go through the hassle? So that would be 
my trade-off already uh, my system six core very fast so think about it i have hold i'm holding off on it right now although i was very ambitious and got these special talks already that's my conclusion i just wanted to share these thoughts if you want to learn more i would really re almost recommend you if you have an old system or if you can get it from a friend or relative we just find a great deal somewhere on ebay um, i would rather upgrade probably the first thing i would do is the nvme and put the two terabyte nvme in there because two terabyte nvme is really affordable right now nvme prices have dropped the ssd prices have dropped two terabytes for a hundred dollars as low as a hundred dollars the th that's what i would upgrade first and then depending maybe the memory because it's just so easy but i have 32 gigabytes of memory in that system as well so that's plenty 